back. I can hardly wait to dig into my dumplings. They're, they're steaming as we speak. And we're going to do some more Chinese cooking in just a minute. We're going to make fried rice, which is a great dish to throw together at the last minute. You come home from work, you have five minutes, you got some white rice and some leftovers, you've got fried rice. So we'll show you how to make it. But right now, um, because today's show is all Asian inspired, ever thought of putting a little bit of Asian decor into your home? There are lots of little touches that you can do and really um, makes a unique, calming, relaxing feel. And Karen at Designs of the Interior in downtown Green Bay is going to show us some fun, simple ways to bring some Asian ideas into your home. Good morning, Amy. Welcome to Designs of the Interior. Today we're going to be talking about both Japanese and Chinese influence in helping make your decor look a little bit more stylized, adding an element of fun and some color to your environment, which is probably looking a little bluff. The important thing to note about Chinese and Japanese elements is that they are extremely different. What we're trying to achieve is something that looks um, well thought out but not overdone. Don't think Chinese restaurant. With these particular um, cultures, when you think Japanese, you think very zen, restful, quiet. We're looking at rocks, calligraphy paintbrushes, beautiful subdued colors in the black and the brown. Simple, simple artwork with simple calligraphy. Sizal area rugs, um, shoji screens. The Buddha over here is a beautiful example of something that would be found out in a rock garden or perhaps in your foyer. The dragons in a nice soft color. The bamboo reading. All of these things are very soft, very quiet, and offer a very restful palette to the eye. When you're thinking about Chinese, you're thinking about highly lacquered, very carved, very ornate, colorful. This is a wonderful um, accent piece that kind of brings in that lacquered look in red, which is a color that is known for luck in the Chinese culture. And we've just placed some cute little foo dogs on top of there that are extremely carved and ornate bringing in a touch of the Japanese by the very simple and asymmetrical um, arrangement. Here we have some beautiful silk fabric and it comes in any array of solids that you can incorporate into your particular home environment. They're absolutely exquisite. If you're trying to remain with the Japanese culture, you want the more soft, subdued, the creams, the browns, the golds. If you're looking to incorporate a little Chinese flair into it, then absolutely go with the more bold purples and chartreuse and pink and, of course, the red. Remember, red lacquer, highly, highly stylized, highly carved, very bold, but always remember to keep it minimal. Add a few items, not an entire room full. When you are remembering Japanese, keep it simple, keep it clean, beautiful, organic, beautiful Chinese, or Japanese rice bucket, the rocks, the bamboo, the Buddha, always, always simple. And we hope that you enjoy all these culturally rich ideas to incorporate into your home and make it